Hi guys, Judy here. I'm up early this morning. Um, um, it's a holiday for the schools because of Veterans Day. God bless all you veterans. I hope everyone's doing well today. Um, Lord is continuing to speak to me about about the birth pangs here in this last hour right before he comes. And um, I'm playing a song from my son's video game, Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, this song really touched him and God really spoke to him and said, Mom, this song is... I know this video game's about outlaws and I know the stuff in it, but Mom, like, this is this is the song for, for the time we're in. And um, we had church to it yesterday. <laughs> Stand and shake them. And Mr. Crash of the world. The vines, they often whisper. They whisper, but no tongue can tell. I like that lyric. May I stand unshaken amidst amidst a clash of worlds. May I stand unshaken. And we basically had church with these lyrics and with this song. So, you know, God uses everything, people. He speaks to us through everything. And my son was just playing his video game with his cousin. And after his cousin fell asleep, he came into my room and just started pouring to me what God was speaking to him through this song. It was really touching him. And um, and he said, Mom, it's like, this is it. You know, we need to stand unshaken amidst the clash of worlds. And that's what's going on right now. God is bringing his kingdom. And the old kingdom is going, the kingdom of darkness, the kingdom of filth, which is what this earth has become. And we need to stand unshaken as we see these birth pangs increase. And, um, and um, you know, these fires in California, these are the, these are, these are God's fires. Okay. And, and, um, last year, um, God told us to make, you know, that, that he would not burn. He wanted us to drive back into the fire. We were under mandatory evacuation and we drove literally back into the smoke and I made videos of it. If you want to go back and look last October, you can see the videos we made of going literally back into the fire. And we had a place to stay where their fires weren't occurring. Um, and we left, we went there for a minute and said, why are we here? And God was like, go back and declare that you will not burn and put your script, put a scripture on your garage. He showed me the scripture. I, I did a whole video on it and he's speaking to me more about these fires. He told me last year that the fires would not stop. So when they did stop, I was like, well, I thought they weren't going to stop and they did stop. But you know what? This is what he meant. They are never going to stop. They're going to burn. They're going to burn up until he comes for the rapture. And um, and then more so after the rapture. And I'm going to keep this song playing. Um, and um, and uh, so we had a little reprieve. We had a little bit of a reprieve. Um, but, you know, his word to me was true. I mean, they really haven't stopped. They've. He, you know, they have been consistent since last October, since Northern California was burnt out. Um, and there's been consistent fires. They have, there's been little breaks in between. And that's what he told me. He, he just told me they weren't going to stop. And, and it just really appears that they haven't and they're not. So this is a warning. And, and this is also a word of encouragement. So this is a warning to those that aren't ready for the fires. Um, that... Um, you need to get your heart right with God. No amount of supplies and prepping is going to save you. You can run and you can run from California. Um, but his birth pangs are everywhere and they are on the increase and there's nowhere safe but under the shelter and the shadow of the wings of the God Almighty. If you want to remain unshaken in this last moment, 
You need to be under the shadow and the shelter of the Almighty. You need to have your trust in Him. Okay, and, he, and there's more coming. And it's not just California, but I'm speaking because I'm in the middle of a big birth pain right now. I'm in between both fires. Our air is horrible. I haven't, um, I don't feel so great physically um, in my body because of it, but but I feel great in my spirit because the Lord is speaking to me. But you know, I we're not remain, we're not unaffected, um, and that's that's a witness to God. That's His glory. We're right in here, um, being affected as well, and we say praise the name of the Lord God Almighty. Let it burn. Let all that you've declared to burn, burn in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, for the fire of your fury, the increase of your birth pains until you come to rapture. And um, I just pray that people will wake up. I pray that um, God spoke to me about California. He said um, it's going to continue to burn. It's going to continue to shake. And that it's not going to stop. So if you, um, you know, I know pe many people are just planning to move. And, and, and that's good. You can move. If you're a bride, I want to encourage you as a bride to ask the Lord, where are you supposed to be? Because he's told me to stay and carry his glory. He said, would you stay and carry my glory in the midst of these fires? And I said, yeah, I will. I'll stand here and I will, and I will make a firewall because everywhere the bride is, you can make a firewall and it can be burning all around me, which it literally was last year. I was very afraid, but I also got strengthened by the Lord, but it was, he strengthened me, but it was a little bit scary. I had different um, people praying as the fires were encroaching upon us and God said, stay. And I had a little bit of pressure from my sister to take my son and the animals and go and, and, and all that. Cause she's like, this isn't cool. You need to not do this. And so, um, but I just stayed in faith. I said, this is what God told me to do. I'll just stay and burn with it. Or I'll be like Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. So now I'm seeing why he allowed me to experience this last year. So I have more of a reference this year to know and I have more faith to believe that the fires burned all around us and there's no reason why our little enclave here didn't burn because it were headed our way, but the winds turned and it was but God. It was because God created a firewall because he told us to pray for that and we cased the neighborhood in the car. We couldn't walk. It was too smoky and God protected it. Well, believers and bride in California, I want to encourage you to make firewalls with the word of God, with your faith, with worship. He said to sing in the fires, sing through the fires, God, guys, sing through the fires because God wants a bride that would stand unshaken because his fury is not at us. The fire of God's fury and his birth pangs that are increasing. This is all his birth pangs. It's not his judgment yet. This is his kindness. These fires are his kindness. You ask me, how is that kindness? Yes, that's a wake up call because what's about to happen is so much worse than this. It's so much worse. It's Babylon will burn in one hour. This nation's going to burn with nuclear war in one hour after the rapture, after the great taking away, after the final worldwide rapture where all the innocents are taken. And when I say innocent, I say innocent because of the blood of the lamb. So all those under 18, with the exception of a few teenagers, God told my son are going to a place of safety and the bride is being taken up, the bride of Christ and their animals. And God is good. He's not mean. He's kind. I really have to stress that and these fires are his beautiful warning that it's this is just the beginning wake up wake up wake up wake up yeah and we've been in these birth pangs as far as i know for the last five to almost six years since he fell on our my son and our family and told us to wake up that he's coming all my hobbies stopped my whole life has changed my hobby is waiting on the lord that is what we do i wait and i look at the signs and i I look for him for six years and I will continue to do it, but we don't have much time left, God. Guys, we do not have much time left and we will stand unshaken as this song. Stand unshaken amidst a mystic clash of worlds. May we stand unshaken. And I will stand unshaken. And you know, I'm telling you right now, God, in his great mercy and compassion, is calling out to you. He told me he wants to bring a few more into his wedding feast. I mean, he wants it full. He wants to bring some in, and there's some that just, they're going to be left. And when I say you're being left, you're not, 
you're still there's still salvation for you. You'll you'll still make it to heaven if you repent, of course, and don't take the mark, right? So I'm not giving you a death sentence, but wouldn't you rather skip the tribulation and go into the wedding feast, the wedding supper of the Lamb, and go in the rapture? And God is just showing me that there's some. He just it's a last call, really, to look up to Him and to repent and to get it right and yes you can come with us you have to have all anger out of your heart God told my son that um, the wedding supper is reserved for those um, with that are lovers of God and lovers of one another and so so um, you have to repent of all anger and hatred you can't go there with anger and hatred and um, and I repent all the time of being offended and bitter that I'm still here I mean me and God we go at it I mean none of us is untouched by this world and if you act like you are then I don't trust you because if you live here and have to go to work and have to raise kids or even just live here you you're gonna get mad okay we have to constantly stay humble and give God everything and let him you know, fill us with his peace and his love for humanity because it's a dark world and it's easy to just want to get bitter, you know, but we don't. We rise up in his love and his power and we say, repent, God loves you. And I have a really hard time giving these last two messages about his fury because I just know his love and his kindness. He's really nice, but his fury is coming to judge this world. He has to. And he told me his judgments are just and they are right. And, um, and I just want to encourage you guys, in Jesus' name, I just want to encourage you to, um, I just want to encourage you, in Jesus' name, I want to encourage you, bride, to stand strong and stand unshaken, stand strong, stand unshaken. Stand strong, stand unshaken, stand strong, stand unshaken. And, and hear what God's telling you. Help him bring in a few by your faith, by your being unshaken. And I'm speaking to California in particular during these fires, California bride. California bride, stand up and be unshaken and say, yes, I'm not going to get off in these side conversations of geoengineering and harp and, and volcanoes and, and, and dew and we could talk about so many things and we can fight so many just causes at the moment. But at the end of it all, God told me, it, and this is what he told me yesterday, I'm doing it. So these things are to get us sidetracked. You know, this, it's, this kingdom is going down. Babylon is going down. It is going down. And these birth pangs are God's mercy. These fires are his mercy. The fire of God's fury is his mercy to say, will you repent? Will you listen to me? Will you look up? I'm coming and I want you with me. Repent. Give me your anger. Give me your sin. I'll take it and I'll make an exchange. It's not too late to get into the wedding, wedding supper of the Lamb. And there's people teetering on the edge and God wants you in. So this message goes out to you. This message also goes out to the bride to encourage you as he's telling me to stand strong, to be unshaken, to get really close to God. It's like FaceTime, like Apple has FaceTime and you can FaceTime your friends and people you love. He wants FaceTime with you, bride. And he told me yesterday I was gonna go out my routine again. And he said, no, I don't even want you doing that. And usually he likes me to go exercise. I'm really into like body, soul, and spirit, like exercise, eat right, you know, the whole package. And, and he just said, no, you're not gonna go exercise. And I, I, I just want you to FaceTime with me. I want you to not eat today. You know, and so it's one day at a time. We hear what he's saying. My na my state is burning up. What's your state going to be? Underwater? What's your state going to be in, an, in the next day or two? Is it going to be hit by an earthquake? We don't know. But God's telling me to tell you, bride, to be ready to stand unshaken, immovable in the faith. Because he is coming to rescue you. You're not going to die in a fire. You're not going to die in a flood, bride. You're... You're going to go up in the rapture. You're going to be rescued. But those around you will be. There's going to be chaos all around you. And what are you going to do? You're going to stand strong and you're going to declare the glory of the Lord. And you're going to sing in the fire. You're going to sing in the flood. You're going to sing in the birth pangs. Because these are the last pangs before he comes. Stand strong, bride. God needs a bride who, want, who will stand up. And if you stand strong, you can bring a few more in. And that's what God's saying. Can you bring a few more in? Can you bring a few more into my feast by standing strong? Do it. 
stand strong.